Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Quick general updating for my friends Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, let's find out what messages want to come through for you. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the love arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. Alright, thinker. So an energy that is an encouragement to kind of dive deeper into the understanding of something that can be meaningful. Maybe it is a situation that it's um, kind of um, able to escape your uh, understanding. You know, there is still something that um, must be unlocked in the proper way. Maybe it is a recurrent pattern, for example, that uh, keeps uh, presenting itself, you know. And maybe this is an encouragement to take a moment, you know, in order to uh, dedicate some thoughts about this uh, situation, this factor, this uh, way of interact with other people, you know. Let's see what the Tarot has to say about this thinker energy for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Seven of Swords, Four of Wands, Five of Wands, bottom of the deck. Um, so guys, um, as you may know, for me, the Five of Wands is a noisy and annoying energy. I associate uh, this energy to one of the Alicia Keys songs. Uh, people keep talking, they can say what they like. This is the kind of uh, situation that can be a source of confusion, you know, and that can um, prevent the opportunity to achieve clarity, you know, because if there are unrequired opinions constantly offered, uh, basically a person does not have the chance to think things straight, you know, and this is a situation like, uh, would you just be quiet for a moment, you know, this is the kind of uh, feeling aimed towards these people, you know, because there is something that is uh, tricky in the flow of energies, the seven of swords I'm sure that you know the drill, it is not the best uh, energy to deal with because at the very least it is not aimed at the best possible outcome, you know, then it can uh, escalate uh, quickly, you know, lies, betrayals, um, deceits. Now, the Four of Wands can be some kind of love partnership in this case. Usually this is about an established connection, you know. But these are general readings, so it is not necessary that um, you are married, for example. You can be in a love partnership and something has clicked off seven of swords but it's like someone is not honest about it and with honest i mean open to face a situation for what it is because this can be an energy about self-sabotaging also you know still 
four of wands, 11 11 card for a lot of readers. This is a soul driven partnership, basically. Um, truly, the chance to build a, a love connection that is stable and grounded with um, shared values um, involved. Ultimate celebration, also. So, this is an auspicious energy, but we know that life the journey offers circumstances to deal with you know and if we are not able to address the issues that may uh, come up some situation can take unexpected turn towards a different outcome you know and these death card which I personally love because it's an opportunity to sweep away all the leftovers from the past in order to leave an open field on an energy level and be ready to manifest something different, more in alignment with values, wishes, desires, you know. But this is a revolutionary change, you know. Something as it was will completely be different depending on the circumstances, of course, but it can work kind of like the tower, you know? These Seven of Swords can be a set of behaviors that may work against a connection, you know? And the situation requires a change very meaningful, otherwise, basically, um, if a person refuses to address the issues then they will keep going on and the situation will change either way because maybe the other persons so some of you for example may decide to um, take action about it after a well thought uh, evaluation process with the thinker energy so let's clarify this combination, guys. Let's see. King of Swords wanted to come out. Four of Swords, Five of Cups. The Sun, bottom of the deck. Guys, truth be spoken from a clear mind, the King of Swords. No space for misunderstandings you know someone with the four of swords is silent about a situation that can be a source of discomfort in a love connection again you can be together you can live together you can be married pick your situation if you recognize that a seven of swordish interaction is a uh, part of your story basically four of swords this is a silent energy we are not talking usually with the four of swords but um, the best accent about the four of swords is a healing process that can be helpful in order to think things straight now this can go two ways meaning that some of you uh, maybe are dealing with uh, an individual that is refusing to address some issue that you know is involved in your connection so they are silent for of swords they do not want to talk about the seven of swordish situation whatever it may be they are not talking but on the other hand, you are thinking, thinker energy and thinking things straight, seeking a deeper understanding. The point here is about the King of Swords mode that some of you will have the chance to embrace. This is a brilliant mind, someone that has mastered the ability to recognize what's going on around him 
in this case, but you can be a woman, of course. And then there is the ability to express clarity. This is what is going on. I understood the pattern. You, for example, the other person, you are refusing to talk about it. But this is, a, this is an issue for the connection. We need to resolve it in a mature way. But if someone keeps uh, escaping, you know, removing from the conversations, we are not uh, going anywhere, you know. And so the talk that some of you may call in with the King of Swords energy, it's the catalyst for a revolutionary change. Now, if the person that is caught up in the Seven of Swords dish ways of doing things will accept to talk about these factors and meet some of you halfway the death energy is able to work in order to resolve the issues you know kind of avoid the five of cups which is about regrets and disappointments about something that didn't go according to expectations for a positive outcome but if the other person is not willing to admit something for example that you know is there your king of swords mode will call for the death intervention a revolutionary change but something something couldn't be resolved disappointments land on a connection for example plus we have the four ones at the two sides of the bridge. So the regrets and disappointments, basically, moving forward, may be about a connection that, for example, it started in a positive way, but then something may have happened and it wasn't possible to resolve the issue. And this is a disappointment. You know, a regret about something that maybe um, it was possible to do in a different way. You know, the sun, which is about happiness, uh, fulfillment and satisfaction, and we can agree on that, can go two ways. This can be the positive outcome that some of you may achieve if the other person is willing to talk and open up in a honest and sincere way about the seven of sword dish so you can work the situation out depending on how deep this energy is others of you basically will not have this privilege because the person caught up in the seven of swords uh, is not uh, capable of acting in a mature way and the Revolutionary change will be ignited by those of you that will channel the King of Swords energy. The sun is an energy about bringing things to light also. A bright enlightenment. There is something that is shady, you know, kept under the rug. But some of you have kind of... caught a glimpse, you know, about something, and then you have started thinking or you are thinking about it, kind of waiting for the moment to say to your person, look, um, I have noticed something, and then things unfold, basically, you know. So I feel that there is the chance to work things out, but these Seven of Swords right now is bothering me and the five of cups is about regrets so with the four of ones even more for me um so this is a challenge the death energy basically either the situation changes completely or the change will come because some of you will call for it because you are not uh, willing to tolerate the seven of swordish behavior so, 
guys that's it <laughs> i truly hope it was helpful um i will leave it at that for now i'll continue on vimeo see you there if you want to join me the link is below let us know if you resonate leave a comment like share and subscribe to the channel until next time i wish you all the best guys take very good care of you and i will talk to you soon bye